Gary, I'm not sure what to say about that game. Uh, lost a, uh, it probably sums it up a little bit, but at the end of the day, the positive is it's five matches on the spin now with, with wins, um, and that just keeps building confidence of the team. Few changes today in the team, so again, it just gets other players to yeah. be able to build into that confidence. Yeah, uh, it's difficult to get enthusiastic about that, isn't it, really? I'm like, all I can say is a, w a win's a win, you know, that's... Mm -hmm. The objective at the start of the day was to get two points and that's what we've done but uh, I wasn't pleased in the manner in which we went about it today. Uh, can't explain it really, you know, it's, it's down to the, the players and, and I guess their approach. They're always difficult games these when you're expected to turn up and win and uh, you know we, we've probably seen the opposition's previous few results and thought this was going to be a, an easier game than it actually turned out to be and I'll give them a bit of credit, Colin Sharp, they played with some spirit today, they were strengthened with their uh, OKR dual reg players, uh, I've watched them a couple of times now and uh, that's the best I've seen them play so give a little bit of credit to the opposition but massively disappointed, massively disappointed despite a win and that's it's hard saying that I guess because it's also moved us up a place to fourth in the table but we've got realistic hopes of, of remaining that top four we've we've got to be much 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 better than we were today few half breaks that sort of came to nothing and losing the ball and just yeah. lack of timing and it was just a, a, a general game that didn't really go according to script did it? well the word I use at half time to the boys was was disrespectful because I thought I thought we were disrespectful to each other because we were doing things that we, I've never seen us do before you know the certain some of the sets they were trying to do and overplaying uh, you know like making a break and just expecting to, to, to score on the back of it instead of just taking field position and catching them on the next play so I, I, I thought we were disrespectful to our systems and our processes that we've been building on and working on all season and that have been working for us have been successful and we just went away from the game plan completely today um, and that's the disappointing thing but uh, you know we have a habit of turning up and playing better against the better team so I hope that's the case next week against Oldham because you know it's a massively crucial game against a team that are just above us in the league table so um, I'm looking for a massive massive reaction improvement in training this week um, and being mentally prepared for a tough challenge ahead and some of the tries against are a bit disappointing you know 6-0 up fairly early on um, and then to be pegged back to 6-4 uh, and then there was a try in the second half where it just looked as though a man ran over a defender yeah. and just reached over him to score and there's nobody else helping and uh, and really not having that attack on yeah. somebody to push them back. There was no enthusiasm in defence Ian, you, you're right, there was no, the line speed was missing, the enthusiasm to get off and bash somebody was missing. Um, obviously every time we review the games we're never getting beaten no, nobody's ever scoring tries against us by some fantastic play or something that we've never seen before they're either dummy ass scouts or, or one up Barjo Barjo was where a big man just got over the top of one of our men and scored him it was exactly the same again today we, we're just really weak defending our own try line and, uh, and, and invited Coventry into our third and when they got anywhere near the try line you, we looked really really vulnerable um, and that's that's what we'll need to fix up this week certainly our try line D we did, a, you know, we, we, we were getting better at it, but we had some poor efforts early on in the season and we've just dropped back into those ways. So we've got to review what we did a few weeks to go back in training to fix it up and we'll be doing it again this week and concentrating on getting that right for Oldham. There does seem to be a little bit of a, uh, a, a weakness or a flaw or a mental block, I'm not sure what it is, with big men that, that run, run at the defence. Mm. and. You know, there's a few sides that have done it. Yep. Coventry and, and some of the, the you know, Hemels and such have got a couple of big guys. Yep. The Londons have got big guys, and suddenly they seem to be able to do things against us that they're not doing against other sides. And I'm not sure why. why that well, because we're not defending our trial line well enough. Simple as. We do struggle with big men. Um, I, I've got to look at why we're marching teams down the field with penalties and poor errors and. Our well, completion rate at 56% in the first half and 57% is just not acceptable and we're inviting teams into our half of the field and, and we're always vulnerable but when you're completing at 57 and 56% your defensive efforts, you, you, we're doing far far too much defensive effort so that's the stuff that takes the petrol out of the tank and that's probably why we're a little bit weak defending our own try line because uh, we ain't got the energy levels that we should have because we're not completing high enough. Attacking wise, 
five tries coming from one side of the field, a couple for D, um, and Nathan Chappell scoring yeah. that trick. Yeah. Um, that must be pleasing that you've got an attacking force there that can score, and Nathan scoring a couple of, of long range tries. Mm. Yeah, definitely, and yeah, we, you know, I think that right edge of ours is pretty good. We're getting solid there now. Um, we, we, we miss Straff still out there, but when when Straff's there and and Chap is there and D, it's it's a threat. Um, and I thought Nathan was brilliant today. I, I, thankfully, Nathan played really well because you know we needed somebody to step up and have a performance, and he was the one. Um, there weren't many more that were that were I could put in that same category. So fair play to Nathan. I, I thought he really stood up and, and, and did a good job today. Um, and then, yeah, pleased that he got one of the match, pleased that he got his three tries because I thought he thought he deserved it. In, in the centre of the field, um, a guy that sort of stepped up a little bit today, I thought, was Lewis Reid. Mm. Um, yeah. And he caused some yeah. some consternation in the defence. He ran straight and hard. And, yeah. uh, and again, unfortunately, we just weren't able to pick on the back of, of, yeah. of some of his runs. But that, that sometimes we miss just that basic run hard, fast, yeah. and go. And that's how we start all our sets. To be honest, that's that's what you know. That's how we coach them to start our sets. Run hard, fight to play the ball quick, earn the right to play. Um, I changed really around this this week. We, we brought him off the bench because I wanted him to make an impact, and I thought he did, especially in the second half. I thought Coventry failed to handle him, um, but um, I thought he's, as an impact player, he, he was terrific. But yeah, you're quite right. When we've got people running as hard as he is and working as hard as he is to get a quick rook to play on the back of, we've got to be better and smarter and be able to exploit that. And you know, we, we didn't always. And so I'll be looking at my nines and my pivots and my edges there to see why we didn't exploit some of the some of the holes that we punched into their defensive line. We just, I don't know whether we didn't recognise it. I don't know if we just chose not to, 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 to execute it, but um, we'll have a long hard look at it this week and make sure that we're fully prepared for all the... At the end of the day, it's a win. It's a win. And, and they're up at four. So yeah. first half of the season, tick, uh, boxes ticked. Yeah. We, we've got into that top five. And I th you know what Ian, I think we've been harsh on them because we expect more and, and that's what I've said to him there, we, we've got to be hard on ourselves because if we think that's acceptable then we're not going to kick on in the second half of the season and I think that's what we've got to do, we've got to be hard on ourselves and expect more from ourselves because I still think this team can achieve some good things this year. Um, but we've got to be mentally tough enough and mentally right in order to do it. You can't just turn up for a game, start a game and then suddenly flick a switch and be at it. You've got to be at it right from the start and we weren't today. But let's 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 be realistic and let's let's celebrate the fact that we are fourth in the table, we've won five on the spin. There's you know that, that's that's great form for us to end this end this half of the season uh, and, and kick on for next year. Mm. Knowing we've got to be better, we've got to use that disappointment of today to improve and be better next week. And, and the one thing of this season is that we've been taking points off teams that we expect yep. to be fighting against yep. uh, for those positions which we haven't done in previous seasons so there are a lot of positives to take out of this yeah, first half. There are Ian, yeah. people are going to probably be disappointed that we didn't rack up a load of points to, to, to improve our points difference which isn't the best, You know, we, we know that. You know, certainly the teams that are above us and around us, their points difference is quite more superior to ours. But again, if you're taking points off those teams, it doesn't really matter what your points difference are because you're taking two points off them. And if we can take two points off all of them next week, that means we've taken four off one of our major competitors. So, you know, I've got to be happy with that. But obviously, we've got a lot of work to do before we get there. OK, well, uh, again, well done on the win. Cheers. I'm sure you'll be taking the players in uh, during the week and you'll get them ready for, for all of them next week. We will indeed. Congratulations. Cheers, Ian. Thank you.